Hi everyone, my name is Phoebe Nubisi and today I will talk to you about silence the noise. No. Oh, so in this journey, uh, a way to silence the noise, you know, is like be vulnerable, you know, share your journey as it is. In my edify people, you know, sometimes people have, they need to understand or to listen to to similar experiences and they will say okay i'm not in this journey alone and i can be inspired by the way this other person is handling that situation so it could help me also on my journey that was the first point and the second point is that you need to rely you need to be surrounded by supportive people positive people of uplifting people that was his second point because he told me that it's unhealthy to be alone and to, to fight alone you know you need a supportive community you need some people that are there to strengthen you that are there for you that are there to support you in your downtime and you do the same for them you know it's like i always say it is a mutual beneficial relationship it's not just an a one side but it's like two sides you know yeah it's how it works and I was sharing my experience with him and I was telling that most of the time when sometimes I will face challenges and I will feel alone, lonely because, you know, because the people that I help most of the time, they expect me to, to, to be perfect. They expect me to be at a higher level. It's true that sometimes I might be stronger at it, but there are no time for everybody and sometimes the same thing that you have been telling to people you need to hear that but people sometimes they are not sensitive to know that okay it's true that she she is used to uplift us but today she needs also to hear it in return she needs that grace she needs that compassion she needs to to be shown the gift of mercy but people sometimes they do not understand that and they judge you and they you know they take action they they are rude but sometimes i just want to let you know show mercy can i give you this challenge today show, show mercy, mercy to, to 10, 10 people. people like don't care about how they act sometimes people will act strange the fact that they are strange to you is that they need help. They are hurt. You don't know what they are they are facing. You don't know what they are going through. You don't know their battle. You don't know their struggle. Sometimes they will not have the courage. They will not feel like secure to share it with you. But you know, need to be sensitive. You know, you don't even need to be a Christian to be sensitive. That the same way that you sometimes you need help other people need help and they're not everybody is that open to just okay say okay i i need this i'm vulnerable i need support not everybody is able to ask but you need as a person that live a life of purpose you need to discern and show mercy show grace even if somebody's rude to you, you don't know what the person is facing. Maybe that person just needs to to pour out his, oh, his oh, frustration, oh. you know. So don't just judge. Show, show mercy. Show grace. Try to understand the person. Try to be just friendly to that person. Yeah, I remember I was in, on a plane one day with uh, some people on the plane. Eventually, I was at the window. I was at the edge and... At that time, I, I noticed that the person that was in front of me, it was a, a man and he was always looking outside and it was at night. And I was surprised that how can he be so focused and he was looking worried. He looked worried at that time. And I just like touched him because I didn't know his name and the plane was, there was a lot of noise. So I just touched him. He turned his back and to see what's going on. I didn't say anything because me too, I was afraid, but I was concerned because I was like observing. I was n noticing that something is not that common with his behavior. And I did it a second time and I present my, uh, presented myself and I say, okay, I just, I just wanted to say hi like just to say hi and i've noticed that you kept looking on the outside is at night and the way you were focused it just drew my attention just like that just a friendly way to say it and yes and he started opening himself telling me about his his struggles right now that he could only see his family every other month he told me that he likes his family but his son is growing up without him you know being on his side and he's just focused on another state doing work and 
that state is not that uh, community oriented so he cannot even bring his wife over there because if he that is a man is already feeling alone what much more you know how much more if he brings his wife and his child they will feel you know more alone and he is the only one working and providing he was just sharing his struggles right Whew. when i was hearing that i said oh my god so if i kept i kept like that concern that that notice if, if i was not that friendly with him maybe he will have not been open with me and you know maybe he will went to his home just be disappointed just struggling alone dealing with depression and all of that so he had to open the whole the whole travel you know it was like an hour and a half we were just talking and i've noticed that he was talking like <laughs> most of the time and i noticed that he needed just a person to hear like a random person not necessarily a person that he knows but he needed just someone you know to hear all of his struggle and just to be attentive and to relate to him to show empathy and to show that you do care all of that you know so i was just touched by him and i just told him that all is well and god will make way for him you know to be able to be surrounded with his family all together and god will give him a job that will allow him to do that because the fact that he has a desire for it god will make a way because god is just god is good and when you ask god for something god will make it for you and you are going to make it true so that's the same thing that i want to share with you today silence the noise ignore distraction you know if the people that you are surrounded with are not able to show you that mercy that gift of mercy and compassion start with yourself show mercy today like i said i challenge you find 10 people and show them mercy show them the gift of mercy and most importantly put boundaries it's not because that you show the gift of mercy that you have to to just you know forget about yourself and let people treat you anyhow or abuse your kindness you know you need to put boundaries set up boundaries but at the same time show mercy to people show unconditional love jesus show out the best way to do that so do it with 10 people today and you will be blessed how they will come after you and tell you amazing testimony how you impacted their lives thank you and see you next time for another video